Oh, hello there, everybody. Welcome to the show today. Would it interest you to know that most people, most, I'm sorry, that roosters have built-in earplugs? Why? Roosters have built-in earplugs so that they don't crow themselves to death. Uh, they are so loud uh, that they would open their mouths and that would be it. No hearing forever. Every time they open their mouths, earplugs. Now, why am I talking about roosters? I'm talking about roosters because your potential clients have built-in earplugs as well. What this comes from is a lifetime of information piece after information piece after marketing piece after piece of copy after image after things that are flowing past us 24 hours a day, seven days a week, every single day of the year, people are being marketed to from every glowing screen they come across. And they are making themselves deaf to it. We are, as marketers, as small, small business owners, we're not getting our message heard. Bots are an amazing and excellent way to get your message heard. And that's why I'm here today. And for those of you who don't know me already, my name is Rhonda. Or Rhonda. That's my actual name, everybody. Most people, though, call me RJ Redden. I am a messenger bot strategist, as the sign says. I am the founder of Black Belt Bots, a uh, bot strategist, a ninja, and all sorts of things. I'm here because I fell in love. I fell in love the very first time that I got into a messenger bot. I discovered that it was, it's the way forward. It's a great way to have a wonderful conversation with people, get to know them, and help them find the resources they need to find. Sometimes it's yours. Awesome. Sometimes it's not. Also awesome. And so we're going to talk today about uh, we're going to talk today about messenger bots about you know what are just the basics why do you why should you need one uh, do you need one if you need one what's your strategy going to be because please 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 for the love of everything you consider holy do not approach it without a strategy because there are so many bells and whistles and so many beautiful things that you could do that you might get lost and i don't want that to happen to you so my friends entrepreneur entrepreneurs hire me to join the messenger marketing re revolution because most of us are shouting into a black hole we are a carbon copy of everybody else's message and we lack engagement on and offline so I help people launch a powerful digital message by botifying them and to increase the engagement, visibility, and their profits. So, my friends, uh, I'm going to flip over to the comments here. I didn't realize I wasn't on there. Hello, everybody. Uh, hey, Ed, good to see you. So uh, the bottom line is we're, we're, you know, some of us are just still in the thinking stages. Some of us are in the building stages. Some of us are somewhere in between uh, sticking a toe in the water. And the bottom line is that we've got to get our bots out there so that people know about you. Um, yeah, that was a joke. Um, and uh, you've got to be botastic in order to be heard today, in order to be heard past the noise. Most people consider marketing just white noise. Most people have blinders on, just like roosters have earplugs, right? Uh, it is, and if you didn't, honestly, you would chase after every shiny squirrel all day and you wouldn't be able to have a business if you didn't have blinders on. The very blinders that you have on, your clients have on too. So how do we reach past that? How do we go back to having a one-on-one -on -one conversation where I care about you and what you're saying and you're, you care about me? Uh, how, how do we go back to those basics? How do we go back to getting to know each other? Email ain't going to allow you to do that. It's just not. And it doesn't matter what kind of copy you're writing. It just doesn't matter. Here's the reason why. And I, I don't want to disappoint all of the copywriters out there who are working very, very hard to, to get their voices heard through email. The problem is this. People are not judging your email on 
the email that they've received from you in their inbox at this moment. People are judging your email by the past 20 years of emails that they have received in their inbox and read over the years. Really. People aren't judging you by you. They're judging you by everybody else. And when it comes to just another email in the inbox, people decide it's a it's a it's a decision they make within seconds and maybe less because we've seen so many now. And, you know, I mean, it, it is a decision people make in seconds. And that's why those open rates are so low. Uh, it's not that you're not writing good stuff. It's not that you're not putting out an excellent, wonderful, awesome, beautiful, audacious show. It's not that at all. It's just that people are judging you by everything they've ever received. Uh, so, hey, Kimberly, good to see you. Ryan has signal. Now we're having a party. Uh, so very good, darling. So today we're going to talk about three great big reasons why you should have a bot. Um, and this is, these are, these are reasons that are near and dear to my heart. So if you have questions too, if you're thinking, ah, eh, you know, I'll bet you my business doesn't need a bot. Let's stump the, let's stump the RJ. Do it throw it in the chat for me and I will, I will read your question and I will get to that because uh, that is uh, also something that's near and dear to my heart. I want to get to all your questions. So pop them in those comments for me. Um, Ryan says, tell a story, make your client the hero of the story and reap the rewards. So far, the past five weeks of this have shown great results. Oh, fantastic, my friend. Fantastic. You know what? People are always interested in stories. They just are since the days of the caveman. You know what I'm saying? Like they will gather around the fire to hear a good story. And if you can bring them in with a story, uh, that is a wonderful thing that you can do with a bot. Uh, so uh, very good. Uh, and so let's, let's get to those reasons. Basically, really, it's this, that we are all having trouble getting heard online. We, we, you know, and including me, and I've done this, I did this for many, many years in my business. I followed all the bigwigs, right? Follow the, you know, the cool people of the world. Influencers. Follow an influencer. Fantastic. And then, okay, do what they do. It worked for them. Maybe it'll work for me. No. It won't. <laughs> it won't. <laughs> it's just more noise out there. It's just more noise. It's like this, okay? If you can think of it like a radio. Wait. Does anybody out there remember a radio? Type in the comments if you remember a radio. Anyway... <laughs> I think they, you know, they still exist. We all listen to things on different, you know, we all listen to things differently now. But way back when, I, I'm now revealing eh, sort of my age. Way back when, uh, you could, uh, on the radio, right, you, die, you turn the dial or you hit the button and you go to a certain station. And there's only so much bandwidth on that radio. Um what has happened is that now instead of having, you know, 10 or 20 stations or, you know, more if you have Sirius or whatever, you're now getting to a place where that bandwidth is so stuffed because every single person can now broadcast their message. So many ways to do it. So many ways to do it. And now instead of getting one station in clearly, as you used to be able to do, now it's just everybody is, we got this much and everybody's stuffed in there now. And that's why people aren't responding. That's why people aren't hearing because we're all broadcasting and nobody's listening. Nobody's listening because we're, we're, we're blocking it out. We're trying to get our stuff done for the day. We're trying to, trying to make some stuff happen. Meanwhile, the stuff that we put out, you know, we've been told content marketing is the way to go. The stuff that we put out isn't getting seen, isn't getting heard, isn't getting engaged with. And so that is, uh, that's our problem. That's our problem. And bots are our solution. Getting seen effectively online, getting engagement effectively online, getting clients online. This is what we want to do so desperately. And this is what is, you know, the current situation has made it 
well near impossible if we use all of the normal channels. Um, that's why. That's why it's fallen upon deaf ears. What if you had a bot that generated relationships and, wait for it, generated profitable relationships? You know what I'm saying? It doesn't all have to be a transaction. Some of it can be a relationship that's a partnership, a relationship that is a joint venture where I maybe don't need the services, but I know my people do. And so I constantly refer you. What if you could generate relationships through a bot? It's not just another list to market to. Let me tell you, let me tell you something. I'm getting on my soapbox. Today, everybody, I'm on my soapbox. So hope you enjoy it. It's tied. Anyway, I've, I've dropped enough brand names in this particular uh, live stream already. So I'm getting on my soapbox and I'm getting on, on my soapbox about what a bot is and what a bot isn't. So let's go through this. Here's what a bot is not. A bot is not getting dropped into uh, uh, one of those endless governmental or insurance insurance companies, uh, f you know, phone queue. You know what I'm talking about? Press one to be talked to like a child. Press two to get into an endless loop where you'll absolutely never hear another human being. Press three if you'd rather stab your eyeballs than listen to another second. It is not one of those automatic fed relationships where all you do is punch buttons and say words into the phone in the clearest way you can because that computer never recognizes anything and wish that you did not have to do that i i put off those phone calls or i asked my wife to make them it's it's better really anyway that is not a bot. A bot is not a series of automatic, this is how we're going to shuttle people into, uh, you know, a cattle chute and I'll herd them into one place and then shove them where they need to go. That's not a bot. It's not a bot. A, a bot is not just another announcement machine. How many people treat bots this way? This is very frustrating. It's just another way to tell people I have a show on right now. It's just another way to plop down a link and say, hey, go here. What if you don't need to go there? What if you've already seen the thing, done the thing, you know, and you want a little bit more than that? There are so many things that you can do in a bot to engage and help people think help people work through the problem a little bit, help people, you can help people with a bot. I am uh, writing a challenge right now for somebody uh, and it is uh, the encouragement, the, the spot on uh, encouragement and love that she gives her people is absolutely outstanding. And it's a thing that brings people to her naturally. It's not some, we don't have to put on we don't have to put on a costume. Well, I have a costume on right now, but we don't have to do that necessarily. Uh, I just like the costume and people have been, uh, been asking for the cape, so I just wore it. Anyway, the bad news is most people are profoundly mistaken about bots. They think that bots are the things that I've already talked about, that, that it's some automatic faceless awful robot experience where they're never heard and they're never seen and nobody cares they just want to they just want to you know shoot you to a person and uh, it may not even be the right person believe me uh and bots are not an announcement machine now let's talk about what bots are bots are a wonderful place to start a conversation we've talked about that a little bit bots are also a really great place to follow up with people. How many of you, and don't be shy about this because I'll raise my hand first. How many of you are kind of terrible at follow up? Uh, I have been there. I have been there. I've been at that place where you make connections with people, you come home with a bunch of business card and you're, you're gonna follow up with, with some, some people, right? But the first thing you've got to do, right, is catch up on the work that you've missed because most of us are just one person or two people or three people working somewhere. Listen, if you've got that, then it's it, really what you've got to do is follow up first, but we don't do that. We catch up first. And then when we catch up, there's a lot of things going on and things that are distracting and taking our attention and all of that. Well, 
fantastic that those people never get followed up with. I've been a victim. I've made myself a victim of this many times. Thanks for answering, Stephen. Uh, I've made myself a victim of this many times, and it is not, it is just frustrating. Uh, it's frustrating because you've worked so hard. If you're a speaker in an event, and I've done this, uh, I have been a speaker in an event and, you know, not been able to follow up properly with people. I, there is a way through a bot and I've set this up for myself. Uh, this is, it's amazing. You can absolutely follow up with people. You can follow up with people every time you ask them something. If, if, for instance, I'm asking people to set an appointment with me in my bot, I can set a message to go 48 hours later that goes to everybody who didn't click the button and says, hey, just wondering if you have any questions, would really, really love to chat with you. Press the button to get on my calendar. How cool would life be if? How profitable would your business be if you never missed out on another follow-up? opportunity. I know people who say the money isn't the follow-up. I know people who say that. And I believe that because follow-up shows that you care. Follow-up shows that you've seen that person, heard that person, you care about that person. And maybe that, maybe you're not right for that person. Maybe your resources aren't right for them. That's totally cool too. Maybe you can make a relationship. At some point in the marketing game, in our internet frenzy, and trust me, I've been a part of this, we have forgotten that clicks aren't clients. We've forgotten that it does not work that way. We have thought to ourselves that the views on a video and that the clicks on a thing and that the likes on a thing and that the, blah, 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 you know, whatever it is, right? Whatever it is, whatever measurement system on whatever social channel you're using, what we've forgotten is that a click is not a relationship. And clients come from relationships. They don't come from clicks. A click may lead you down the road, but we've forgotten how to create. We've forgotten how to connect, create a relationship, and then see where that goes. We're also desperate to get those clicks. And it's just not going to pay the bills. That's why people should have a bot. Follow-up purposes, absolutely, 100% all of the time. Following up with people, letting them know what you, what, what's going on with you, what you've got going on, asking them, hey, what have you got going on? Is there anything that I can help you with? As my friend Jay Fazette says, how can I serve and support? Those types of things in a bot can reap incredible rewards, not just whatever t-shirt you've got on sale or whatever, you know, whatever it is you're trying to push at this moment. And bots totally work for that too, don't get me wrong. But how can we create a relationship? How can we make this thing happen together? We've, we've lost sight of it because we all want we all want what online represents to most people. A business online represents to most people, hey, I don't have to make a huge overhead investment because I don't have to rent an office and pay the light bill and do all these those things. I can I can connect with how many people at once. That's that's what people are falling in love with and starting a business online with the idea of. They're starting it with the idea of having a crowd like Gary Vaynerchuk. The guy has worked very, very hard and spent a lot of money to build that crowd. It's been happening over a number of years. People want to, they hear stories of people doing things overnight online. We, we fall in love with those notions and we go, how do I make that happen for myself online? But what we forget is clients come from relationships. They do. And so how do you build those? How do you establish those? Bots are the answer. Bots have been the answer for me. Listen, my friends, I worked as a marketing tech coach. I helped people with their productivity around their marketing, and I helped people with the marketing. I built websites. I built social media accounts. I helped people build followings. I did all of those things, and it was okay. I was doing all right, but I was forever kind of chasing that click relationship, which is not a relationship at all. When I got into bots, I found out, I discovered how 
You build a relationship through a bot. How do you build no like and trust factor within a digital medium that people actually open and read and see? That is what a bot is all about. So I'm getting off track, you guys. Uh, you know me, I get off track a lot, so uh, it won't be new to you. But uh, I just wanted to talk to you about what the, you know, the pain that we're experiencing is that we're shouting into a black hole. Is that everybody's broadcasting and no one is listening. We don't create this content so that because we like the sound of our own voice. Well, I like the sound of my own voice, but you know, uh, we don't create this stuff because we love the sound of our own voice. We don't work hard and we don't sweat over it just to just to put it out there in the universe. We do it so that people will see that we do it so that people will experience us and get a result from that and go. I want to contact that person again. That's why we email. That's why we create live stream shows and podcasts and all the other things that we create. That's why we create. Now, getting a response back out of that creation, getting actual clicks and engagement online. This is absolutely what we need. We, it's absolutely what we need is people to engage with us. People to see what to have a transformative experience, no matter how small, because that will lead people back to you. Bigger than SEO, people. <laughs> bigger than, you know, bigger than all of the things is if somebody somebody engages with something with my content and says and has a little bit of a transformation, responds to my personality, and comes back to me for more. There's the secret. There's the secret. So how do we do that with a bot? If you are a person that's just on the fence about bots, I totally understand it's another new technology. Uh, it's pretty popular right now. Everybody's getting a bot, but maybe you've experienced a few and you're like, eh, what's this about? There are very few people writing engaging bots out there. Uh, most people treat it like another email channel. They think if they, you know, kind of copy and paste an email in there, it'll be super great because most people open these. Yeah, they'll learn not to open yours. Uh, if you do that, uh, you, we talk differently. We create a personality for our bots. We, we do things to connect with people and to meet them wherever they're at. And then to give them value where they're at. Give them value where they're at. Um, so why people need bots. <clears throat> if you are launching anything, my friends, get a bot. If you're launching anything, if you're building something right now that you're planning on launching out to the world at some, at some point, whether you're doing a challenge like many of my clients do, whether you're doing uh, the product launch formula, a very popular uh, thing out there called the product launch formula, that's something that people do, whether you're getting your joint venture partners together to launch something. A bot is a wonderful place to teach, to bring people in during the launch, teach them who you are, what you do, how you do things, introduce them to your personality, um, and then, you know, offer them something that will help them transform. The challenges are a great way to do that, my friends. Uh, you know, a five day challenge, a seven day challenge, bringing people in and, uh, and helping them make a transformation in a short amount of time. That's pretty huge. For me, if you've got, uh, if you've also got events coming, um, if you've got live stream, if you've got content that you're putting out there, a really great way to get people to consume that is to remind them that it's there. Um, here's an example I'll give you. I have... I have so much content. It's absolutely, absolutely ridiculous. I put a lot of content out there. I love to talk to about, about bots and I often record myself and, you know, throw it on the internet. Um, I also have podcasts and uh, different things going on. It's very good. It's very great stuff, but getting people to that is important. Getting people to, to consume that content. How do you do that? You need a bot. You need something that will come directly to their messenger. People are already looking at their messenger 10 times a day, people. They're already looking there. There's no need to build an app. 
There's no need to build an app in the universe because people, unless it's a game, they've stopped downloading those things uh, because it people just don't listen way back when, right? The app store was launched upon the world and we all downloaded 200 of those things, the free version usually. Uh, and it was super fun to play with those types of things. But at some point we all kind of got over that. And we, we now the average person looks at between on, on an, any given day, looks at between six and 10 apps on their phone. If it's something, you know, people really, they have to kind of build a habit to go to an app. Messenger, they've already got the habit, everybody. They've already got the habit. There's no need to establish that pattern with people. Uh, Teresa says, I was driving when I got the alert. Oh, you didn't miss anything at all. Welcome, Teresa. Good to have you. So, uh, so getting that content heard is huge and important and critical when you are small, when you are in that mode of building relationships and introducing people to your products, get them to your stuff, get them to try something. Many, many, many of my bots include some sort of exercise for people to go through, especially on right on that, that very beginning, uh, right on that very beginning introduction, you know, the welcome, getting people to experience uh, some sort of some sort of result from the thing that you do before you even meet up with them. What does it teach people? It teaches people that they they can have a transformation with what you're doing. Uh, it teaches you, okay, who is going through your stuff, who is getting this transformation. And then by the time you actually meet that person, they're already in love with your stuff. That's how this works. That's how this works. It works. Uh, it works very differently than any other kind of marketing out there. Uh, and uh, it works better, in my opinion, of course. Um, and it's not super humble. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so a uh, lot of examples out there about people not being able to take other people through the buying cycle effectively. People are dropping off there. If you're sending out emails and you're getting a 20% open rate, um, and that is that is the definition. You know, gosh, I was at a conference a little while ago with a, a guy um, and he was a messenger bot builder as well. And I'm not bringing his name to mind for some reason. Um, but he stood up and said, people were talking about email. And he stood up and said, why are you all putting up with the fact that your message is not being heard through email? I, I was, I mean, it, it just... The room got silent for a minute. Think about that. Why are we putting up with the fact that only 20% people open and, and very, very few people click? Why are we putting up with that? Why, am I, why are we putting our energy into something that's 80% not going to work? Eek. That's rough. That's rough, my friends. Uh, compare the open rates. Messenger has a 90% open rate on its messages and a 40% click through rate on the messages. Why don't why don't we put our energy into something like that? Uh, Teresa says, I struggle with this creating and implementing on a, or creating and implementing a buy, buying cycle. Uh, absolutely, and I think a lot of people struggle with it. Um, a lot of people struggle with it because we lose so much at every stage and we're conditioned to believe that email is the solution for everything. Get a name on a list. Uh, and that's your solution to everything. For me, it's not. It's not. To me, a name on a list that I, you know, I, I mean, I do email, uh, I do emails and stuff like that, and it's, it's fine. But for me, it's just, uh, it's not, it's not the right medium, because I can't talk to you. I can't see your response. I can't figure out where you're at. What I'm doing is I'm standing on top of a building with a bullhorn and I am screaming as loud as I can and I've got it turned up as loud as I can and I'm desperately hoping that people who hear me that don't have blinders on will come back, trickle back to me because they'll resonate with something that I've said. Now, 
do they know what I do I know what they resonated with I have no idea I have no idea if somebody opens an email and clicks a link I have no idea which thing I said actually resonated in a bot I know exactly what people are resonating with I know exactly I can keep track I can help people according get value according to what they're resonating with my friends this is an amazing fact about bots this is what I want to tell people this is what I think that people desperately need to know is that even when people are clicking on emails you never know what it was they resonated with you don't know where that person is at in their cycle today I I shot out a message in my bot it was about an hour ago and I asked people where are you at with your bot and I had three answers that they could click on one is still thinking uh, one I, I can't remember what my answers were at this time actually uh, but uh, I had a still thinking I had you know uh, uh, I've already started building it I've I had need a strategy on there um, and people clicked accordingly and now I know where people are at in the process and I can serve them value based on that answer I know what people are resonating with. I know what people are loving. I know what people are hating or like consider noise. I absolutely know. Why would you not take advantage of that? Because then we could act on the right things. This is, the, here's the thing. And I read this article a long time ago. It was about Facebook ads actually. And if you, for those of you who know ads, and uh, for those of you who know my friend Tammy Lane, you know that she is absolutely the best. Uh, and uh, the the article was talking about this that Facebook ads can create a lookalike audience for you, meaning Facebook ads, if you wanted them, could take everybody that interacts with your videos, say and uh, it could it, it kind of puts them in a group and, and looks at the demographics and statistics and you could say to Facebook ads go find me a lookalike audience go find me clones of these people right here because they're most likely to engage with my stuff and Facebook ads will go do that it's like this you could wander around with a huge stack of flyers in your neighborhood and you could shove a flyer into every single mailbox that's what we do with email or you, you could go around to the people who have raised the flags on their mailboxes and you could give a flyer to them which would you rather do bots is the same way what we do with email is we go to every single house and we we you know with email we don't just put a flyer in the mailbox we'll also staple some to their front door um one per day at least right this is what we do this is what we do because this is what we've been conditioned to do with bots you can give the exact flyer needed because you've got a bunch there you've got a bunch of content i know you do you're just like me you can give the exact flyer to the exact person that needs it and then you could check up on them in 48 hours and see if they've read that flyer and see if they have any questions you could help them with. Which, which would you rather do? For me, it's always gonna be Messenger. Uh, it's always gonna be bots. Uh, it's always gonna be bots. It, it, you know, I'm hoping uh, and I'm seeing other people build platforms that are not just on Messenger so uh, that we don't have to, you know, necessarily be beholden in one place. That's always good to not be beholden in one place, but it's always gonna be bots because I know your path with a bot. I can start to see where your decision making is, where your values are, and I can start to give you value that actually responds to you. That's huge, my friends. It's important and it's huge. Um, so anyway, I'm getting off track here. I do have a little thing that I'm trying to follow, but you know me by now. Uh, you know it uh, hardly ever actually happens that way. People need nurture bots. They need ongoing stuff that helps people think and helps people get a little bit of a transformation. We're all going for a transformation. 
We all are. I used to think it was just coaches, right? Just coaches. Um, no, we're all going for a transformation because our businesses solve a problem. Every business or nonprofit uh, or community engagement organization, they're calling themselves that nowadays too, which I like better and is actually much more accurate. Everybody out there is seeking to get their message out because they solve some problem. Here's a problem I saw your solve your message isn't getting heard. That's the problem I solve. Um, what, uh, what we're trying to do is find those people that have the problem that our businesses solve, talk to them, connect with them and cause a little bit of transformation. The transformation is a little bit of that problem solved. So let's take me for an example. My, um, the problem that I solve is, Hey, you ain't getting your message heard. Uh, you're spending a whole lot of money and time shooting stuff out there into the universe that's never getting read, seen, or heard ever at all, uh, or maybe is getting some clicks but is not getting anything, anybody talking to you. Uh, that's the problem that I solve. And so what I seek to put out there in my bot helps people get a little bit of a transformation, helps people with one step in the process so that they know that my stuff is something that is of value to them and they also know whether they like that personality or not. Makes them want to take the next step on the ladder. That's what we're constantly trying to do in our marketing. When we put our marketing hat on, or goggles in my case, when we put that marketing hat on, we always want to know what is it? What? How can I help people take that next step? You got to know what step they're on. You got to know where they are. You got to know what problem that they need to need to have solved. So for me, again, your message isn't getting heard. So I've got to know about, here's what I've got to know about people. I know a lot of people ain't getting their message heard. I know that, right? But I don't know where Jane Smith is at in the process right now. I don't know what she's tried already. I don't know how she's tried it. I don't know what she's got out there, what she's got on deck. Uh, I don't, there's so many things that I don't know. How do I know that I've got something that'll even help her? Maybe she's, you know, maybe she's hooked up already. Uh, maybe she's hooked up with a different company or, you know, whatever. How do I know that she's one of my people? I put them through a process where they engage with me get a little bit of a transformation. And then we both know that this is a good relationship to go forward with. That's the way, that's the way of the future, my friends. Uh, it's the way of the future. This is why people keep talking about bots is that well done. This is something that's going to bring people to you. If you spend 20 minutes a day with your bot and I make all of the clients swear. And if you're a client, you know, 20 minutes with your bot per day, look at it, listen to it, listen to where people are clicking and help them, help them endlessly in your bot, endlessly. Here's the deal. I have a client that does a 30 day challenge every single month and uh, I might bring him on sometime. I know he's out right now, but I would love to bring him on and, and kind of talk about what he's got going on. He's got a 30 day challenge every single month there are people that have questions and need to talk every single day in that bot. And every single day he will log on and uh, talk to them and troubleshoot them and answer them. And I also do that because there are so many. Through that, we've what we've achieved is being able to start to see patterns. Patterns of questions that aren't answered in the original material. We see patterns of problems that people have. And when we start to see those patterns, we can then solve for those and put them somewhere in that process so that people don't even ever encounter the problem in the first place. That's what you can do. If you have, if you, you know, if you spend 20 minutes a day with your bot, if you look at it, if you understand where people are clicking and why, what problems they're having, what questions they're having, there's nothing you can't do. It is so powerful. Um, anyway, so let's talk about strategies for a minute because I did say that I was going to give away some strategies today. There's a certain word. If you put it in the chat, you will get some free strategies. Um, 
if you put the word that is above my head, not that, not those. Uh, you can totally write bots or beautiful anytime you want. Uh, but live, uh, live is a good word. That word will get you. Uh, that will get we get you. It'll ask bot. will ask you a couple questions. Spinning dragon will come on and ask you uh, a couple of questions about uh, where you're at in the process, and we'll deliver you some free strategies that you can use to to build. I know a lot of people are kind of looking at things and going, okay, bots are hot, I get it, you know, but where do I, you know, if they're interested, they still need, you still need a focus, you still need a strategy. Here's why you need a strategy. There are too many bells and whistles. There are too many things that you could do. There are so many things to learn and to know that when you dive into it, if you choose to dive into it, as I did when I started, because you know me, I get excited about something and here we go, right? Dive in there. If you dive in there with both feet uh, or into a shallow pool, I don't know. Um, I've done that. Anyway, um, if you dive in there, there's so much to look at that it's a, it becomes a distraction. The software itself becomes a distraction because there are so many things you can do with it. There's so many ideas that you could have. There's so many things you could do. What do you start with? What's proven? What have people done that has worked and brought in tons of, uh, tons of clients? What has worked? Um, if you type live, then you'll be able to get that you'll be able to get those strategies from me. Um, I, I, I love my clients. Uh, my clients are all, almost first and foremost in my life uh, behind my wife and my dog and my cat. And those are not the dog and the cats. They're equal. Okay. Just don't tell them they're not. Um, my clients, my clients are it. And, uh, and I, th I think about them and plan for them and, and do stuff on their behalf on a constant basis. Um, and what you'll be able to get in those strategies, uh, and they're free, by the way, obviously. But what you'll be able to get in those strategies is now, now you get the stuff that you know works. You get the stuff that I've tried and hit my head on. If you start with one of those then you'll be able to make better progress. If you start by just going in there and going, okay, what do I see? What can I do? There's a great chance that you'll get distracted. And there's a great chance that you'll just have a really, really hard time, get frustrated and give up. I don't want you to do that. I don't want you to do that. Um, hey, Stacy's here. Welcome, Stacy. Um, you did make it. You did make it. Um, and it's not even the very end of the show. That's so, it's so beautiful. I'm so glad you're here. So if you have a bot strategy, you'll no longer give everybody the constant same message. If you have a bot strategy, you'll know where to focus that laser beam. You'll know where to focus that laser beam. You'll be able to make some progress with it. The toughest thing about watching people get into bots uh, that are not, not my clients they will get in there and they'll be like, so there's just too many focuses. There are just too many focuses. And then they'll go down these five paths push, and they won't be able to make progress on any of them because, well, okay, this one's having problems. This one gets pretty far, but I don't know why they drop off here. And this one uh, doesn't seem to do anything at all. Which one should I pay attention to? Uh, well, you know, it's a toss up, right? It's a crapshoot. It's a, where do I spend my time next? I don't know. And then it becomes people beating themselves up because they've chosen another path that they've thought is going to work for them, that they got excited about and that they haven't been able to make work. Do not do this to yourself. Get a hold of some free bot strategies. <laughs> do this for me. Do this for me. Um, that is, I mean, it's just paramount. It's paramount. You'll also get reminders for the shows and things like that, but the free bot strategies, that's where it's at. You will no longer be shouting into a black hole if you have a bot strategy. If you know, if you are focusing on getting new eyeballs or, or serving current clients, it's a completely different process. 
it's a completely different process. And really, what is it that you're trying to do in your business right now? Serve current clients or get new eyeballs? You want to know the difference between the two. You want to know the difference between the two strategies because you will act completely differently in your bot. I know we've talked a lot about getting new eyeballs, you know, just generally in the show and today, basically, but there are strategies for making sure that the people who have already paid you are getting the very most out of their experience because creating raving fans means you get to spend less time on marketing. Wouldn't you love that? Wouldn't you love that? I will. I would love that. I I've done it, so I don't have to worry about it. But, uh, but that is something that is really it's that's absolutely crucial uh, to to your marketing is serving your current current clients well, making sure everybody who grabbed the course is taking the course, making sure everybody who said they wanted to attend masterminds every two weeks is actually attending the mastermind. These are the things. These are the things. So, uh, dogs are four-legged people. Yes. So are cats. It's just that they're four-legged aloof people. Uh, very good. Very good. So, um, if you have a strategy, you'll no longer be a billboard in outer space. You know? Because those spaceships need advertising too. No, they don't. They also have blinders on. Also, they're going too fast. You don't want to be a billboard in outer space. You don't want to be putting your message somewhere that no one will find it. If you have a strategy, you'll know about your ideal clients. You'll know who you're aiming for. Huge, my friends. You're not aiming for everybody because then you're aiming for nobody and you'll get nobody at all. You'll know if you have a bot strategy, how you need to orient that bot so that it is going after the right folks or serving the right folks appropriately. If you have a bot strategy, you'll no longer be just talking to yourself out there. And I know a lot of us feel that way. I know that pain. I know, and it is pain. It is, what am I doing? You know, I'm over and over, I turn on this machine and I'm not getting any results from that. I know that pain and that pain can be solved with a bot. You can get people consuming your content. You can get those breadcrumbs lay that breadcrumb trail. I'm no longer calling it a funnel. I mean, I do when I'm talking to certain people or whatever, because that's the language they use. But you know what? It's really breadcrumbs on a transformation trail. That's what it is. That's what it is. If you can find the, plant those breadcrumbs in an appropriate place, make sure that they're valuable to people, that that transformation is going to be of value, then they'll find their way to you. You don't have to chase. What would life be like if we didn't chase? That's, that's a good, that's a good thinker question. I might have to put that one in the bot. Anyway, Best of all, if you have a strategy, you will not be lost in the minutia of marketing. And when I talk about that, what I mean is, well, I could get on this and then I could get this software and then I could do this and that would allow me to do this. And blah, 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 blah. who's been lost in a pile of what they could do? A pile of possibilities. Who's been lost in the pile of possibilities? Put it in the chat for me. Let me know. Um, because that can be as much of a problem or more than not knowing what to do next. Um, and if you have a VCOO, you can get your butt kicked to get the breadcrumbs laid out. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Virtual chief operating officer, I believe is what Stacy is referring to. Um, so, so yes, get yourself a strategy, get yourself a focus. You'll learn, you know, I mean, I, of course, have resources helping people learn bots. That's, you know, one of the big things that's going on with me. Uh, but the resources are fine. But what you really need, you really need that strategy. You really need that. What can we do with this stuff? What can we, you know, what has been tried and true? What has worked? Not what you could do. What has worked? You need that. 
uh, yeah, I I don't even need to be following you, uh, Stacy. Uh, you lost in possibilities. It's okay. You you are me sometimes, uh, and uh, we we travel much the same road. Stacy and I are both people who know a lot about a lot of different technologies, and it really can uh, can lead to some interesting things. So, uh, very good. So, take the bot opportunity assessment. That's what I named it because I make up words and I'm not afraid to do so. Take the bot opportunity assessment. Let Spinning Drag you, Spinning Dragon ask you a couple of questions about where you're at. And that is going to be valuable to you. That's going to be valuable uh, and that's going to help you do some stuff and maybe f just focus you. If you are, if you know you want to do these things, if you're convinced it's the right thing for you to do to be able to build relationships and start conversations that matter, then you need a focus when you're starting. You need to know this is the strategy that I'm going for because learning everything you need to do and putting out something that is super appropriate for your strategy, that's all you need to know. You don't need to know all the stuff for all the other strategies. It will just blind you in confusion. You'll be lost in that pile of possibilities again. You don't need this. You need a strategy that works. I got those for you. They're free. You know, you know what to do. Type some type of, type of live into the chat. Um, and I'm not afraid to say that. Facebook, you can demote me if you wish. Um, but uh, but anyway, that's uh that's what's going on today. I wanted to really talk about what can what is what are the possibilities? Because here it is get a strategy, build that bot, build that bot, start getting traction, then you can build all the other bots. You can build all the other sequences. Fantastic, darling. I started out with a sequence. It's still running, but I've got a thousand more. Um, you start out with one, you begin to see the results, process the results, develop strategy number two. Don't start on five strategies. Pick one. Pick one. At the end of the little run, if you type in live, you get to make an appointment with me uh, to chat about these things. So hit the button or else I'll follow up with you. You know that I will. Um, so my darlings, that is it for me today. Um, next time on Black Belt Bots on Thursday, we're going to talk about specifically one of those strategies that I lay out. And that is the challenge. We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about how to use a bot for a challenge. Uh, this is something that um, I, I I've done. Uh, I've done seems like many challenges by now, uh, and it's always surprising and delightful. And I wanna uh, I wanna offer you some things that I know, and maybe I'll find one of my clients that has done uh, done one of these to come on and talk to us as well. So. That's it for now, my darlings. Uh, I and Spinning Dragon, thank you for watching the show today, for uh, playing with us in the chat. We always love that. I'm going to rebroadcast this bad boy uh, a little later on today. Uh, and, you know, uh, if you have any friends that you think would benefit, you know what to do by now, I'm sure. Um, I, I really want to get this word out. This is the word that I want to get out. Because if you are performing absolute miracles in your business and no one knows does it really matter it matters to the person that you that you made the miracle for i get that but it can matter to so many other people if your message got heard get yourself a strategy today my friends totally free and you don't even have to sign up for the phone call you know i'll follow up with you but you can say no if you want to totally fine with me so darlings that's all i know love you all thanks for joining me today and i'll see you in a bot